All right, welcome back. So now let's start solving this exercise together. So for that, let's first of all create a new variable and call it total seconds. And the total seconds should represent simply the value that we will read from the user, okay? Right afterwards, we will also create hours, additional variable, additional variable minutes, and let's call the last variable remaining seconds. Okay, so total seconds, uh, which will read from the user, hours, minutes, and remaining seconds. Now, let's just read the values from the user. So printf enter total seconds that you want to convert, right? That you want to convert, that you want to convert. And the user is going to insert his or hers uh, total seconds when we are going to read it using this kind of function. So we are going to read it using the percentage D placeholder since we are working with an integer and store it inside the address, right? This ampersand represents the address of the variable total seconds. Okay, so um, basically we've got it covered. And now what we have to do is to start the main operation of calculating of calculating the total amount of hours, total minutes and the remaining seconds that this value we received here may represent just like we've seen in the example before. And for that to do so, we know that um, the full time if we have seconds and we want to represent or just to take the full part, the full hours from this given number, we know that um, in one hour you have 60 minutes and 60 minutes, each minute has 60 seconds. So 60 multiplied by 60 is a total of 3600 or 3600. So uh, if we want to get the hours part, we simply write hours equals to total seconds, okay? And we try to divide it by 3600, okay? And whatever the result will be here, one hour, two hour, three hours, or zero hours, that's the total amount of hours, the full hours that we can put inside of the total seconds, okay? So how many times, basically I will represent it, we can uh, put three, uh, 3,600 into the total seconds. That's the result the hours will represent here, okay? So that's about the hours. And let's also talk about the minutes, okay? So minutes equals, and what will the minutes should be equal to? So we should simply remove the previous hours, okay? The, all the seconds that the full hours consumed. So that will be something like this, total seconds minus hours multiplied by 3600, 30, okay guys? So that's a uh, value in this parenthesis simply represents the remainder, okay? In terms of what, how many seconds um, are still part of this total second. So if we had something like this 4,000 and we know that uh, we may put uh, 3,600 just once in this 4,000, then the remainder will be simply 400, okay? 400 seconds. And we take these 400 seconds and we know that if we want to represent these 400 seconds in terms of minutes, we should simply divide it by 60 since we know that there are 60 seconds in a minute. And that's basically how you find the minutes. Finally, what we have to do is to leave the remaining seconds and to calculate it. So it will be the total seconds minus, minus what? Minus hours multiplied by 360, right? 3600. I'm sorry for that. That's a lot of videos I've recorded today, so I'm a little bit uh, tired. So total seconds minus hours multiplied by 3600. And instead of just dividing it by 60, like we've done it here, we will simply calculate the remainder if we would have cal uh, divided it by 60. So the full part will go to the minutes and the remainder will go to the seconds. That's how we calculate it. So lastly, all that remains for us to do is to printf total hours 
percentage D, let's use backslash N hours. And the same we are going to do for minutes and seconds. Okay, so that's going to be the minutes and the remaining remaining seconds. So I hope that's clear guys. And basically let's build and run it and hopefully this will work. So hours, um, no, it was 4,000. One hour, six, one, oops, no total hours, total minutes, total minutes and total, what is it? Total, a, b, 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 m, total uh, remaining, uh, remaining seconds. So let's build and run it. So 4,000 seconds is just one hour, six minutes and 40 seconds. And if we had, I don't know, let's say 8,000 or 8,004. 500 then it's two hours 21 minutes and 40 seconds so i hope that's clear to you guys i really hope you like the video so far and the explanations and until next time i'll see you then